Well, as far as books that I might recommend for people to read, the Donald Passman book, I think, is an excellent book. I mean, even when I was just getting going, again, that was a book that came out around that time and someone had recommended it to me and I read it. And When I was younger, when I was in a band, my dad, who was a corporate lawyer, had said, well, if you're going to be in that area of the business, you should learn how the business works and gave me this business of music. And it was very difficult to read. I mean, it was really meant to be written by lawyers for lawyers. And I think I halfway became a lawyer by the time I was done reading that book and went back talking to members of my band about royalties and recoupment. And I think Dan I looked at me cross-eyed, like he's crossed over to the other side, this guy. What's wrong with him? But, you know, it made me understand that, hey, guys, you know, we're in a business that has a lot of stuff going on that we don't understand. But, I, you know, I think it's... it's this business of music still is a Bible in a way, but I think you might want to read Donald Passman's book, uh, All You Really Need to Know About the Music Business, first, because that'll help you understand it halfway and then get into the business of music. And then there's some other anecdotal books. I mean, Mansion on a Hill, I think, is a great, uh, or The Mansion on the Hill, I think it's called, I forget the name of it. Hitmen is another one, where they have stories about the music business and anecdotes that I think can be very instructive about the way the business worked. Again, more so in the past, it's more corporate now, but still, it's a, it's a business that has become very corporate that was still based on a kind of strange, un, not underworld per se, but you know, it was the underbelly of the entertainment industry compared to the glamorous movies and things like that. So those are good books. Some of the other books I have on my shelf are by clients that I represented. Um, you know, they gave me copies of their books. But I mean, I think... I like to read anything about the music business I can get my hands on. I mean, you know, whenever I find a book about the music business, I recently read uh, Sting's autobiography, which I think is called Broken Music, which I thought was an excellent, I mean, it's just an amazing, he's a great lyricist, you know what I mean? He's a, he has a way with words, so reading a book by him about himself is an interesting book. Um, you know, not just for what it says about him, but again, how he dealt with the industry as a musician, the different things that came up. Um, you know, so I, I, you know, my recommendation, lawyer or non-lawyer, but even as a lawyer, you know, you read those books, the Donald Passman, the This Business of Music, those are the technical books, and there's a whole bunch of them now. I mean, when I, when I was a musician, there weren't that many. There were no music seminars. There was one book, This Business of Music. Now there's so many choices of different books. The more you learn, I think, the better off you are. Like I said, to this day, I'll steal anything about that has to do with, even vaguely, with the music business. I'll try to read about it because I, I just want to know a little bit more about how it works. You know, just like reading books about anything, you know, I'm just always intrigued to, to, to learn about different people and how they operate and what they do. So.